Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks, You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name, cause you are great. You're the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, cause you are great. You're the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. You are great. You're the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. The miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for all of what you have done. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Lord God, we pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you will come in right now, Lord. Those that are watching this telegram, oh God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you touch their hearts and their minds, their souls and their spirits right now. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you will cover us right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we believe that you are a sovereign God. We believe that you're able to do exceedingly. And abundantly above all we could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh on the inside of us right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now, oh Lord. Be in everything of what we do here, oh God. God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, let someone, oh God, that needs a touch from you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, be encouraged in our hearts and their souls and their minds and in their spirits right now. In the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord God, lift up every hung down head, lift up every burden right now, oh God, lift up everyone, oh God, that is hurting, oh God, that is confused, oh God. I pray that you would send a word, oh God, send a word into the house on today, oh God, oh God, that will convict, oh God, that will help someone, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we be careful to give you the praise, the glory and the honor, which shall be thine unto thee in Jesus name. Thank you, God. Amen and amen. Amen. 
we have a man, uh, Minister Stevens, on the line. Amen. We're going to ask that he would, amen, bless us with the scripture. Let's say amen for him. Give the Lord a hand. Praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. Thank you and welcome to International House of Prayer. Amen. We hope that everyone has been blessed. We hope that everyone is being touched. Amen. We hope that everything of what we do here on today, amen, that God will get the glory and the honor and the praise that he richly deserve. Amen. I am Pastor Rodney A. Walker. Amen. And we welcome you here. Amen. Live. Amen. From uh, Avila Beach. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we out here. Amen. Blessing the name of the Lord. Amen. We just wanted to be a blessing to everyone here on today. Amen. This is new to us. Amen. And we thank God for technology. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But we want to go into praise and worship. Amen. And we want you to, amen, indulge yourself into worship. Amen. The Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. Praise God. And so one thing about it, when we worship God, we want to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. No other way but to worship God is worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So we're going to go into praise and worship at this time. How many of you guys know that your hallelujah belongs to the Lord? Hallelujah is the highest praise that we can give unto the Lord. Is that right? My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Because my hallelujah belongs to to you cause my hallelujah belongs to you cause you deserve it you deserve You deserve it. You deserve it. Cause all of the glory belongs to you. Cause all of the glory belongs to to you cause all of the glory belongs to you oh yes all of the glory cause all of the glory belongs to you 
Because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Cause my hallelujah belongs to you. Cause my hallelujah belongs to you. Oh yes, Lord. Cause my hallelujah belongs to you. Cause my hallelujah belongs to you you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it Cause my hallelujah belongs to you. Cause my hallelujah belongs to you. And I lift my hands in tow to adoration unto you. You reign upon the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I will sing to you this song Cause I just wanna say That I love you more than anything If you believe that, help me sing I lift my hands and toe To adoration on to you you reign upon the throne for you are God and God alone because of you my cloudy days are gone oh glory I will sing to you this song I just want to say that I love you more than anything Oh, cause I love you Jesus I worship and adore you just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Whoa, I love you, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, 
I love you. I love you, Jesus. Just tell him in your own way. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, God, I love you. I love you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Just worship right there. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we honor you, oh God. There's nothing like you in this whole wide world. And there's nothing like you, oh God, in this place, oh God. Oh God, as we worship you in our homes, oh God. As we worship you, oh God. Whether we be in our cars, wherever we are driving, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you be in our worship. You be in our praise, oh God. Oh God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, oh God. There's none like you, oh God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you more than anything. And I want to tell you, Lord, oh, 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 There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Say no. Oh. oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Everybody help me sing it. Say, oh. 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 Cause you are my healing Lord You are my healing Lord Everybody help me sing it Oh 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 This is nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Cause who wouldn't serve a God like this? Cause who wouldn't serve a God like this. Cause who wouldn't serve a God like this? Help me sing it, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, oh 
Jesus, who would serve a God like this? Oh, cause who would serve a God like this? One more time, say, Jesus, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus, who would serve a God like this? Oh, God, who would serve, who would serve? A God like this. Say, oh, oh, oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Say, oh, oh, oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on to give the Lord a hand praise right where you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to International Amen Live. Amen. We are here in the city, amen, of Avila Beach. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, and we thank God for everyone that is tuning in. Amen. We hope that you're being blessed by, amen, our services, amen, online. Amen. We are, amen, are now getting ready to go into our intercessory prayer. Amen. Normally, amen, what we do is, amen, I'm watching Facebook right now. Those that are uh, tuned in, please type into your kiosk. Amen. And let me know, amen, what prayers that I needed. Amen. I would like to pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any prayer requests. Amen. I have folks on Google Hangout. Amen. You're not able to see them at this time. Amen. But amen. When the Lord blesses us. Amen. We're going to have this whole thing connected. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Any prayer requests. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Anyone, anyone else? Amen. Amen. Let's pray for this nation as a whole. Amen. We know that we're dealing with a time of crisis. Amen. Uh, we're dealing with situations of where folks, amen, are uh, making up decisions of whether to open or whether to stay closed, amen. And nobody really has a cure for this COVID disease, amen, and that's what we're dealing with, amen. And we want to pray, God, that God will help us to make the right decisions and that God will help us to make the right choices in what we do, amen. Bless the name of the Lord, amen. I want to pray right now. Heavenly Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray right now, oh God, for this nation as a whole, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you will help us, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, for families, oh God, that are all across this nation, oh God. Lord God, we need an answer, oh God. We need your touch right now, oh God. Those, oh God, that are dealing with COVID situations, oh God, 
in the hospital, oh God. Oh God, those that are laid sick, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would touch them right now, that you would heal them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we believe, oh God, that you're able to do exceedingly, oh God, and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, I pray that you have your way. Touch the family members, oh God that are at home oh god touch all of those oh god that are locked up in their houses oh god oh god touch those right now oh god that are dealing with fear oh god oh god help them to understand oh god that you oh god have not given us the spirit of fear oh god but you have given us power love and joy oh god and peace and happiness oh god and we thank you right now we thank you oh god we thank you oh god that you're healing right now in the name of jesus oh god and i believe oh god by this prayer oh god Oh God, that you will be able, oh God, to meet the needs, oh God, of your people right now, oh God. And I believe, oh God, that you're able, oh God, to heal, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, help us to realize, oh God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, oh God. Oh God, no matter what we face, oh God, in this life, oh God, oh God, you have the key, oh God, to every situation, oh God. And Lord God, I pray right now, oh God, that you will help us, oh God. Help us right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you all of the praise. We give you all the honor. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, for International House of Prayer, oh God. I pray for, oh God, for all of the ministries, oh God. Oh God, that are dealing with this struggle and they're dealing with this time, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you'll strengthen us right now, oh God. Strengthen your body right now, oh God. We pray for the body of Christ right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray right now, oh God, open up doors, oh God, that seem to be closed in our face, oh God. Oh God, those are dealing with foreclosures, oh God. I pray right now, oh God, that you will make a way out of no way, oh God. Prepare a way of an escape for your people right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we believe that, oh God, that you're able to do it, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, oh God. There's none like you, oh God, in this whole wide world. There's none like you, oh God, in this place, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, move by your presence. Move by your power. Move by your spirit right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, let this prayer stretch out throughout this community, oh God. Let this prayer stretch out, oh God. Oh God, throughout this nation, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we give you the praise. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. We shall be thine unto thee in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I just feel encouraging you right now that are out there. If you're around your family member, just get around them, just hug them, just say, I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. You're all a part of God's body. It's in His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Now it is giving time. Amen. Amen. As we're getting ready to go into our giving, amen. We're going to put up on our screen. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Amen. You can give on Cash App. Amen. Which is IHOP Kojic. Amen. 
Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, given it shall be given unto you in good measure, pressed down, shake it together and run it over. Shall man give unto your bosoms? And we thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know, amen, even in this time of despair, amen, God still answers prayers. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And what we want to do, amen, we want to give unto God. Amen. And we believe God that God Amen. We'll supply the needs. Amen. And I want you to know that your contribution, amen, blesses the ministry. Amen. Blaze the name of the Lord. Amen. Even though that we're not in a physical building right now, amen, at the church house, amen, amen. But praise the name of the Lord. How many of you know that, amen, when you're giving, amen, your giving blesses the community. Your giving blesses everyone that is around you. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So, amen. At this time, as we're praying, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for all of what you have done. We thank you for how you blessed us. We thank you for how you kept us. Now, Father God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you would bless those that are given in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, those that are hurting, oh God, those that are needing food, oh God, Lord God, I pray right now, oh God, that this offering, oh God, and this blessing, O oh God, will go towards the ministry in the name of Jesus, O oh God. I pray right now, O oh God, that you will strengthen, O oh God. Touch those right now, O oh God, that are in need, O oh God. And we give you the praise. We give you the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. We thank God, amen, once again. Amen for tuning in. Amen to this broadcast. Amen. And we thank God that God is blessing everyone. Amen. Once again, welcome to International House of Prayer. Amen. Amen. Coming to you live from Abilah Beach. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. For God uh, blessing us. Amen. And we thank God for the First Lady. Amen. Of the ministry, Monique Walker. Amen to all of our constituents. Amen. Everyone, amen, has played a part. Amen. In International House of Prayer. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Please be advised. Amen. Um, we uh, meet on Google Hangouts. Amen. Amen. Every Wednesday. Amen. At 4 p.m. Amen. We meet at Google Hangout every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Amen. If you would like, amen, to join us, amen, please, amen, in your kiosk there, amen, type in your email address, amen, and we will make sure that you will be connected with us, amen, during this time, amen. God bless you all, amen. We thank God for uh, uh, his killing and his miraculous works and his power, amen. We also have, amen, the women's support group. Amen. It's called the new you. Amen. And we meet every Tuesday, uh, other Tuesday night. Amen. Amen. And during that time, amen, if the women's support group, amen, this is a time, amen, you're dealing with some issues. Maybe you're having some problems at home. Maybe you're going through some things. Maybe you uh, want to get some things off of your chest. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for First Lady Walker. Amen. Uh, she's over the head of that. Amen. And we thank God for her. And we thank God for Minister Stevens. Amen. He is over our Iron Sharp and Iron men group. Amen. So we also have a men's support group. Amen. Please uh, come and join us. All you have to do is type in. Amen. And we will give you all of the information. Amen. Concerning our services times. Amen. And please. Amen. Come on out and join us. Amen. We would love to see your beautiful face. Amen. We may not be able to see you physically. Amen. But praise God. We thank God again for technology. Amen. And our technology, amen, will allow us, amen, to see each other face to face. Amen. So praise God. So uh, also, I want to put out, amen, I will be in Bakersfield, California, amen, under the leadership of uh, Donnie Webster, Bishop Donnie Webster, amen, Apostle Donnie Webster, amen. And we'll be ministering with him in June the 12th, amen. Praise God in Bakersfield, California. Amen. Uh, please be advised. Amen. We will put out, amen, the time and then schedule and everything 
how we're going to hook up. Amen. Our live feed and streaming. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Well, it is word time. Amen. And I want to be able to share a little bit of word with you on today. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for his beautiful blessings. We thank God for God keeping us and blessing us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good and he greatly to be praised. Amen. I, uh, hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. As we get ready to go into the word on today, amen. I want to come, amen, from the book, amen. Isaiah, amen, amen, I'm going to come from the book of Isaiah of today, amen, amen. book of Isaiah, the uh, 59th chapter. We truly thank God, amen, for what he is doing in our lives, amen, amen, Isaiah 59, amen. praise the name of the Lord, Isaiah 59 and 1, go straight to Isaiah 59 and 1, bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Amen. If you have it, say amen. If you don't, say hold on. Amen. Amen. And it reads as such, and it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it could not save, neither his ear heavy that it could not hear. Amen. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Amen. That he would not hear. Amen. My, my subject on today, what I want to talk to you about, amen, is can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. That's my subject that I want to talk to you on tonight is can you hear me now? Amen. Amen. And what we're dealing with here, amen, in this situation here, amen, is, is that, amen, Isaiah, amen, uh, being in the situation that he was in, amen, uh, 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 he was prophesying, amen, to this nation, amen, praise the name of the Lord. And we understand that the new uh, 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 are continuing in sin, amen. And we were talking today in Sunday school about practicing justice. And one thing about when you're practicing justice, amen, God uh, welcomes us, amen, to not just only just practice justice, amen, but to live a holy lifestyle. That's what God is calling for us to do is to live a holy lifestyle, amen, not just to uh, say, OK, uh, I'm joining in with God. And then when I join in, in with God, then, OK, I can live any old kind of way that I want to. But God is saying, no, listen. If you are a part of me, amen, there are some attributes. There are some things that you're going to have to uh, 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 qualifications, uh, lifestyles that you're going to have to follow. Amen. And, and you and you got to realize and understand, amen, beloved, that uh, we are not our own, but we have been bought 
with a price. We, we got to keep that in mind and understand that we have been bought with a price. And with that being bought with the price, amen, that, amen, that w there, there has got to be a change. There has got to be an inner change. And when there is an inner change, amen, then that's where the Christ of light that is on the inside of us should be shining. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And one thing about a, a sinner person, amen, a sinner person can tell when you are not living the life of Christ. Believe it or not, they can tell. Amen. It, it, how in the world can you go out into a man, the world, a man that you are uh, uh, a center person is out clubbing and stuff. And then uh, uh, you was uh, at the club just that Saturday night. And then you ended up amen at church that Sunday night. And you, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, praise you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you for what you're doing. And that center person is looking at you crazy like, wait a minute. How in the world are you doing all of that? And last night you were just boogieing down with me. You was drinking, you were fussing, you were cussing, you were doing all of those things. And God is saying, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, my, my ears are attended to the righteous. My ears are attended to the righteous. My ears are, are, are attended to those that are living righteously. Amen. And I know that there will be a lot of people and I may get in trouble for this, but there are a lot of people that feel that uh, 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 just because that, uh, uh, I, I am a work in progress, I am justified by what I do. I am justified by, 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 uh, 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 God knows my heart. God knows what I'm dealing with. God knows how I'm feeling. Amen. And, and, and that's what, and that's what God is saying right now. And listen, it's not about your feelings. It's not about your feelings at all. It's not about what you, uh, uh, uh want to just do. Amen. God is saying, listen, make a choice. Make a de conscious decision. Make a decision that you want to live for him and only him. And when you make that conscious choice and decision that you want to live for him and only him, then God will bless you. He will bless you amongst all of those that are around you. And then all of those that are around you can see God's miraculous works and powers being blessed upon you and being placed upon you. So that way they will be able to say, hey, my brother, my sister. I, I, I notice a, a change on the inside of you. I notice something different about you. And, and because then I notice something different about you, what church do you go to? What, what, what the, it, 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 it introduce me to uh, uh, what you know. What is it that makes you so happy the way that makes you happy? And God is saying, listen, I'm the only one that can make you happy. I'm the only one that can change your circumstances. I'm the only one that can help you through this great trial and tribulation of what you're dealing with. And even though that the, the government, they don't realize and, the, and, and they don't understand what they're dealing with. And it, and it is something that how, you know, a uh, 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 certain type of leaders, amen, that, that and I'm talking about in the political world, that uh, a certain part of leaders, amen, they, they always want to try to tell another leader, oh, well, you I put it in your hands. You make the decisions of what you're going to do and how you're going to pan this whole thing out. Now, that's that's the blind leading the blind. But why, wouldn't it be great, beloved, if this nation came back to God? Wouldn't it be great that this nation uh, uh, we, 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 we used to the, the do the, the Pledge of Allegiance? We used to do the Pledge of Allegiance uh, back when school was school. Uh, way back in the early times, hey amen. Uh, my wife was just telling me about how they used to gather around the flagpole when we used to pray. But this is what happens. This is what we're living in right now. It says that prayers was taken out of the school. And ever since that prayer was taken out of the school, uh, uh, we don't hardly too much say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Amen. And, and, and when we do say the Pledge of the Allegiance to the flag, it will say one nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. But what happened to the justice? What happened to the justice in this nation? What happened to the to the to to amen, the justice of what what we're supposed to what we stand for, what this country stands for? And God is saying, listen, I'm calling for this country back to the place of me. 
or where they belong, where they need to be in me. But they can't be in me unless we get down on our knees. Unless we get down and we pray, unless we get down and we say, Lord, I repent of everything of what I have done wrong. I repent. Lord God, I need your help. I need your touch. I need your shelter. I need your guidance. I need you to cleanse me and wash me and purify me. Make me whole again. I don't want to be this way anymore. And that's what God is saying right now. I was just saying last uh, uh, Sunday before when I was at the church, do you not know that we are still making the decisions, even though that our forefather, because of the Bible says that one man mistake, amen, has caused all of us to fall. And because that, 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 because Adam's sin had, uh, uh, came into fruition and had came into place, we had, we, 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 we now have got to make a decision for ourselves. And how we making the decisions for ourselves now is, is that we're going to have to, amen, God is saying the same thing. Yeah, we may not see a physical tree of life sitting before us. Because now that's when uh, Hebrews 12 and 1 comes into play. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I may not see the tree of life before me, but guess what? He's there. And because he's there, I'm going to have to make a decision and a choice to pray unto God and to say, Lord, I'm making a decision to choose life over death. And that's what God is saying right now. Can you make the choice? Can you make the decision to say, hey, I notice my ways of living. I know my way of how I have been acting. And it's time for me to make a change. It's time for me to come out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. That's what God is saying on today. Amen. Praise God. I have a few scriptures here that I wanted to share with you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I hope everyone is being blessed. Amen. By what is being placed here. Amen. Uh, key words here on today is prayer and iniquity. Prayer and iniquity. Amen. What is prayer? Prayer is an act of communication by a human with the uh, sacred or holy God. The God's Amen. And when, when, when we're saying the gods here, we're talking about there, there's a there's a there's a uppercase God and then there's a lowercase God. So what you need to realize and understand this one thing. Amen. That just like we pray unto God, don't you know that the enemy also has his own prayer? Amen. Which is called witchcraft. Amen. So understand this. So he's saying right here that uh, the gods, amen, and the translated realm or a spiritual power found in a religious in and all times prayer may be corporated or personal act utilizing. So, amen. Let me take you to the spiritual aspect for you. Amen. Spiritual aspect. Amen. When we pray to our God and we, we, we're talking about the living, the only living God. I'm not talking about the fake gods. I'm not talking about the other gods, because the other gods don't matter. But when we pray to our God, uh, those of you who are familiar with the Lord's Prayer, our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, but lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. So, beloved, amen. That is the, the, the communication that the Lord had used to pray to our father, which is the same father that created Jesus Christ. 
We ought to pray the same prayer. So prayer is number one, the key essential part that we got to realize and to understand is, is that if we want to be closer to God, just like you have a spouse, just like you have your children, if you have a relationship with your children or if you have a relationship with your spouse, amen, your communication to them, amen, is your adoration, your love, your concern. All of those things right there are the, the things of the attributes of you praying to God in the same aspect, but differently. Or you you may have your different way of praying. I'm not going to knock that. But what matters is, beloved, is, is that we connect with God to the source. We got to connect with God. And when we connect with God, then God will connect with us. The Bible says uh, 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 in Peter, draw nigh unto me as I draw nigh unto you. Amen. He said, Click, purify your hearts and, 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 and purify your hands. Sin, also called a cardinal sin. It is a, it is a mortal sin and it is a cardinal sin. Amen. The cardinal sin, amen, it is something that is Something that is always showing itself up. A sin that, 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 that is always trying to, uh, uh, say like, for instance, you've been, you were delivered from one part of sin, but that sin of what you have been delivered from keeps on presenting itself. And so God is saying, I'm, 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 I want you, you have some iniquities. You have some things that you keep on practicing. You say that you're going to leave it alone. You say that you're going to put it down, but you have not put it down yet. And God is saying, listen, you're going to have to make a decision and a choice. You're going to have to give yourself into fasting. You're going to have to give yourself into prayer. But when you give yourself into fasting, when you give yourself into prayer, pray the prayer, beloved, that, that, that Lord, Deliver me totally, completely from this sin. Deliver me totally, completely from iniquity. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul said that, do I continue in sin that grace may abound? No, God forbid. Understand, beloved, if we continue in sin, then, amen, Christ's death would be in vain. But Christ's death is not in vain. Because he died for us. And because he had died for us. Amen. He shed his blood for us. And therefore when he shed his blood for us. Amen. His blood should be upon us. That way. Amen. It will cool the, 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 the wrath of God. Off of us. Because why? When God comes back and he, when he sees us. He will see his son's blood upon us. He will see. He, it will be a reflection of himself to him and he will receive us in but we got to first make a decision and a choice to say okay god I'm, I'm 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 totally all the way in i'm all the way in or nothing else at all and that's what we got to say beloved this is that i'm all the way in and it ain't nothing else at all i'm forsaking my ways i'm forsaking everything else that i know that is of this world that's why the Bible say all the time, and you hear me quote it all the time, come out from amongst them and be ye separated, said the Lord of hosts, and touch not the unclean things. Amen. And so when we touch not the unclean things and when we come out of, of unrighteousness, amen, and into this marvelous light, amen, God is blessing us. Some would beg the difference. Some would try to tell you, okay, well, Pastor Walker, you know, you're, 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 you're coming down my street. And you're, 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 you're stepping on my toes. Well, hey, I'd rather tell you the truth than to lie to you. Because otherwise than that, if I lie to you, guess what? I got my part in the lake. And I'm not going to hell for nobody. I'd rather tell you the truth. I'd rather tell you the truth and, and, and preach deliverance and preach love and happiness to you. To let you know that, hey. If, if my brother and my sister is going down the wrong path, the Bible tells me to restore them in love. There's a difference. There's a difference between storing somebody in love and, and scolding somebody and making somebody feel as if 
they 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 were never apart. But I wonder I want you to know, beloved, that you are a part of God's body and you have a place in God. And understand this one thing. Hell was intended for Satan and his imps. Hell was not tended for mankind. What gets us there is our actions. What gets us there is our decision and choice making. And God is saying, make a choice on today. Make a choice to say that, listen, I'm standing for righteousness and I'm standing for God. And all that matters right now is me standing for God. Scripture reading here, I want to I want to I want to bring to your attention. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 15 and 29. And it says the Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayers of the righteous. So what does that tell you? That tells you that he, that, that that God is ears. Is open to the righteous. That means those that have a relationship with God, those that are that are 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 doing everything that they can and that is doing everything that it takes. They're, they're, they're fasting, they're praying, they're giving uh, uh, over to God that they're, 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 they're letting everything else go. They're letting totally, completely all of the lifestyle of their life of how uh, is not conducive to God. They're letting all of that go. That's what a righteous person does. According to a man, uh, I'm going to go to Isaiah, a man, and it says, Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked, mm -hmm, catch this key point, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man, his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. During this time of pandemic, beloved, amen, we need to seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he may be near, and let the, 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 the wicked, as what the scripture is saying, forsake his ways. He's got to forsake his ways, and he's got to forsake his thoughts. We got too many people, and I know that it's driving people crazy that we're being locked up or, 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 or we're worried about who shot Johnny or we're worrying about all of this other stuff. But God is saying, forsake your ways. Forsake those things. Let those things go. And I will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So God is willing to pardon those sins. God is willing to depart. He's willing to get rid of all of those things. If you have some bad thoughts, if you pray the prayer, Lord, take away this bad thought of what I'm having. Take away all of this stuff of what I'm, I'm dealing with. I don't want this stuff anything. God is going to do it. But you got to have the faith. You got to believe that he's able to do it. And when you believe that he's able to do it, then God will react. He will, he will step forward. But God can't, God is a gentleman. God is not going to make you do something that you don't want to do. But you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to say within yourself, self, I need to make a choice. I need to make a decision that I need to come back into the Lord. He said right here again, he said, and to our God, and he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. So understand something. You can't box with God. I don't care what you're dealing with or what you're going through. You can't box with God. You can't. You can't. There's no way of you. Uh, 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 thinking that you are high or above God. And when you think that you are high or above God, the Bible says a haughty spirit brings before a haughty fall. So that means when you fall deep, you fall big. And let me help you something, let you know something, beloved. 
you don't never ever want to be in a halty spirit where you bring before yourself a halty fall. God is saying right now, listen, I have my love of compassion. My arms are extended out to you. And all you have to do is make a choice and make a decision. My last scripture on tonight, amen, and I want to share with you and I'm going to pray with you and we're going to let you go. Amen. It's coming from Second Chronicles and you're very familiar with this. Amen. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter and the 14th verse. And it says that my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their lands. Verse 15 says, now my eyes shall be open and my ears attended unto the prayers that is made in this place. So understand something. That the prayers and everything of what you're praying. If, 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 if you, if you first humble yourself and you pray and you seek God's face and you turn from his wicked ways, he will hear from heaven. So God right now is sitting on the throne and he's watching and he's listening. And while he's watching and while he's listening, he wants you to make the decision and the choice. And while he's making, while you're making the, the, the decision and the choice, your decision and your choice should be, is, is that God, I'm seeking your face. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. Isn't it funny how that we could be in the position of wanting all of these earthly things, but then we don't want to seek God's face. God is saying right now, listen, all of this stuff is going to pass away. All of this stuff is not going to matter. But what's going to matter is, is that you make a conscious decision and a choice to seek God's face. Seek the things that are eternal, not the things that are temporal. You're seeking the things that are temporal. Amen. The temporal things are not going to last, but only what you do for Christ is going to last. Amen. And what he's saying right here, verse 15, I said already before, he said that that uh, uh, in my eyes, my eyes shall be open and my ears are attendant to the prayer that is made in the place. So in the place of where you are right now. God can hear you. Yeah, we, we read the scripture before and he said that uh, uh, my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. But what is he really absolutely talking about? He's talking about the church. He's not talking about just the building, but he's talking about the church. And what he's talking about, he's, he's pointing at us. He's saying that we are the church. We are the church. We are the church that God is calling for. For this last and evil days. That's why he said, let your light so shine before man that you may see your good works and it will glorify our father that is in heaven. As I'm praying with you right now, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for all of what you have done. We thank you for how you blessed us. We thank you for how you kept us. Now, Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, those that are going through i pray lord jesus that you would strengthen us oh lord i pray oh god that those that are watching this telegram lord god that you would heal deliver and set free right now in the name of jesus oh god i pray right now lord jesus that you would comfort the hearts of your people Oh, God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that your miraculous healing power will go forward, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, for those that are, oh, God, are trying to make a decision, that are trying to make a choice on tonight to take up their cross and to follow you, oh, God. 
and not to follow their self, O oh God, but to follow you all the way. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray right now that you will break up every chain. God, I pray right now for those family members, O oh God, those that are going through, O oh God, I pray that you would heal right now, deliver and set free right now. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, I pray for that husband. I pray right now, O oh God, for that 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 child. I pray right now, O oh God, for that wife, that daughter, O oh God, that are going through, O oh God. Help them right now, O oh God. Men broken marriages, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. O oh God, only you can do it. Only you can save, heal, deliver, and set free. There's nothing too hard for you, O oh God. There's nothing too hard for you, and we thank you. We place everything into your hands. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God. Amen. I want to pray this uh, repentant prayer. Maybe you are saying, Pastor Walker, I, I, I've listened to the message. And I've heard everything of what you have said. And I was totally, completely blessed by what was going forward. I want you to know that Christ is hands is extended to you right now. And he's saying unto you, he's saying, uh, my beloved, come, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And all you have to do is take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. I want you to repeat after me, Lord, here I am, a sinner. Lord, I ask you to come into my life, come into my heart, come into my soul, come into my spirit. Lord, I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins. Lord, I believe that God raised you from the dead. And with my mouth confession, and the believing in my heart. I believe. That I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. I want you to understand right now. What you just prayed right now. Christ has just came into your life. He's came into your heart. He's came into your soul and your spirit. And all it takes for you to do now. Is to find you. A church home. Find you a church home. Amen. A Bible believing church. Amen. International House of Prayer. Amen. Is amen. One of the great one of one of the great churches. Let me put it like that. Amen. We have so many other different greatest churches and we thank God for them. Amen. But if you choose to want to come a part of International House of Prayer, amen, please tap into that amen kiosk right there amen that let me know that i want to be a part of the ministry and I, I i want to learn more and more about god amen during this time of pandemic amen this is the time as ever before that we need to get closer and closer to god as ever before i can't stress it enough but amen but we want you to be blessed and we bless you in the name of the lord and savior jesus christ and as we are praying and as we are dismissing, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for who you are and what you are in our lives. Now, Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would touch us as we get ready to dismiss from this place, but never from your presence. Bring us back at the time that is appointed in Jesus name. Amen. Well, beloved, we thank God for you and we will be seeing you once again. And God bless you. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it.